Um, hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ariana Monet. Um, but all my friends and family just call me Ari. And if you're watching this, we locked in. So, you know, just Ari. Uh, but I just want to come on here and talk real quick. Everybody, at least at one point in their life, had a plan or like a dream or like a goal, a big goal or something they wanted to do. And maybe you didn't do this goal because you're in your head like i don't know if i can do it because of this and that like let's say you want to move out of state i don't know if i can move out of state because it's far and i won't have anybody with me if something goes wrong you know and this this is reasonable thinking you know um but it's not okay to psych yourself out just because something is going to be hard or because something is going to be challenging nothing ever came easy in this life um the things that are worth it are gonna take a little bit more time and a little more effort because if it was easy then everybody would have done it um and you also on the same note of you just psyching yourself out you need to stop telling people every little plan that you have and everything you want to do because most people in reality they don't want to see you doing better than them so if you are telling someone that you want to do something and they feel like it's something that they're not capable of why would they support you about what you want to do and i'll use myself for example like when i was about to move to texas before i had moved there i was working at t-mobile and i was telling all my coworkers, like i'm gonna move to texas i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that they're like girl please like you're gonna move to texas by yourself like be so serious and it's like i really did that shit you know but i kind of get it because a lot of people they just talk and they don't never do anything there's so many people i know who said they're going to move out of state i'm from ohio okay everybody in ohio wants to move to a different state <laughs> but how many people from ohio are really moving to a different state not that many ohio is one of the most populated states in the whole u.s it's number seven that's pretty high up out of 50. Um, there's a lot of people who live in that nothing state. And not saying there's anything wrong with Ohio, but I'm just saying that there's so many people I know who say they want to move out of state, um, but they never do. It's so easy to just talk about what you want to do. It's way harder to actually put some motion behind what you're going to do. So if you really, if there's something you really want to do and you feel it deep in your heart and you feel like if you told somebody... Um, They'd be like, oh, you can't do that. It doesn't fit you. Like, I told people, like, oh, I want to make a YouTube channel. Like, oh, no, like, you should do something else. I can't I can't see you doing that. Because they just see me as Ari, the girl who's she's quiet. You know? She's not super outgoing. But that doesn't matter, you know? They don't see you for what you really are. They only see what you are on the outside. They can't see what you are on the inside. So you need to just get your plan, whatever it is you want to do. And don't tell nobody. Just work on it in silence and pop out on the ass. And if you want to tell some people, you can. You don't have to absolutely tell nobody. Like, you can tell your close family and, like, your friends if you want. Or if you don't want to tell a soul, you don't have to tell a soul. Like, you can just do that shit. Like, literally. Like, you can do anything you want to do. Literally. Alright, but if you made it to the end, though, subscribe, like the video. Peace out.